ladies and gentlemen, we are phenomenal beings. And time has shown us that we are capable of some pretty remarkable things. The power of the mind is truly marvelous, and many of our abilities step outside the boundaries of mainstream science. There was a movie that was released, written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan called Split. This is a film about a man who has DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder. This is where two or more distinct identities or personalities exist and alternately take control of a person. The character in this film has 23 distinct personalities, with one on the way. Now, I won't tell you if I thought the movie was good or bad. You can see it and decide for yourself. What I will say is that it does a good job of exemplifying the abilities of the mind and the power of belief. What baffles scientists is how the physiology of a person can change once an alternate personality or identity takes control. How can one identity have diabetes and another identity be perfectly healthy? How can one identity be weak and another have superhuman strength? The fact of the matter is, we can do a lot more with our minds and bodies than we have been led to believe. And this is what inspires people to investigate and experiment. It is what drives people to seek out new ways in which to enhance the performance and abilities of both the human mind and body. To unlock and tap into the energies that have been suppressed inside us for so long. And this has brought forth a social movement of people who are pursuing what's known as do-it-yourself biology, or, for lack of a better term, biohacking. Biohacking is really just a bad term used to describe the controlled enhancement of a plant, animal, or human. The key word here is control. Now this can be done through natural and or artificial means, by using something as simple as a detox or by undergoing something that is as extreme as cybernetic augmentation. When it comes to natural biohacking, there are a few methods we need to look at. The first method that needs to be considered before anything else is cleansing. Every other method of biohacking is a waste unless you can get the toxins out of your body. Anything you put in your body that is synthetic or cannot be found in nature will cause your body to do something that is unnatural. You need to get the synthetic, disruptive, mind-altering, life-sucking toxins out or everything else becomes pointless in the long run. Cleansing the colon and other organs comes first. Then it's just a matter of clearing out heavy metals, viruses, parasites, candida, and detoxifying the fat cells. Doing these cleanses alone will change your life dramatically. And I will get deeper into cleansing in another video. Next we have eating food or nutrition supplementation. Know that anything you consume will cause your body to do something it would not normally do without it. We are all lacking certain nutrients depending on our age, ethnicity, gender, and environment. For example, people living close to the equator need less vitamin D than those who live in the northern US, Canada, Europe, Russia, and other environments closer to the Earth's poles, due to the simple fact that there is more direct sunlight at the equator. Changing your diet always has a direct impact on how your body performs, and supplementing that diet with the proper nutrients has an even greater effect. Now, nutritional supplements do not help much if your body cannot absorb the nutrients properly with a clean digestive tract or colon. Are you with me so far? 
So what supplements do we take during and after the cleansing process? Well, we all know that there are dozens upon dozens of supplements out there. You can't take them all. Nor can you take any one supplement every day for an extended period of time. Remember, too much of any one thing is bad for you. Ozone therapy, along with plenty of purified water, is what you will need to keep your body hydrated and highly oxygenated. This is a must and must be considered first. Next are vitamins. There are 13. Vitamin A, the B vitamins, and vitamins C, D, E, and K. Your body produces vitamins D and K, so make sure you get plenty of sunlight exposure according to your complexion. The other vitamins come from several sources of both plants and animals, so you need to figure out which sources are best for you, considering that some of you are vegetarian, vegan, and raw foodists. Now, the soil on the earth is not the same all over, of course, so the mineral content in the vegetation is also different depending on where it is grown. For instance, if you live in the U.S., most of the topsoil is gone due to the dust bowl. Mineral deficiency is one of the major reasons people get sick. So, last time I checked, there were over 3,800 known minerals. But the FDA themselves only recommend that you take 12 of them. 12. They say that this is what is necessary for life. And these few minerals are broken up into two categories. Macro minerals and micro minerals or trace minerals. But there are other trace minerals that they don't like to talk about. And these are minerals you would normally think were deadly toxic. Such as arsenic, lead, mercury, aluminum, titanium, gold, silver, plutonium just to name a few. You can go get some pink Himalayan sea salt, which is an incredibly healthier option than regular crack salt, by the way. And all this stuff is in there. Or you can get colloidal trace minerals, and all this stuff is in there. These are the natural elements of the earth, folks. And humans and the earth are made up of the same elements. Plants photosynthesize these elements so that they can be metabolized by whatever eats them. Humans and animals. Understand that the reason humans get poisoned by such heavy metals like lead, mercury, arsenic is because humans have dug them up and processed them into a form that you cannot eat and is now highly toxic and concentrated. Think about this. The true gold mineral has been known to aid in the electroconductivity of the brain. And what is one of the best elements used to conduct electricity? Gold. Now each nutrient extract, herb and superfood have their own variation of health benefits. Deer antler velvet and melatonin are great nutritional supplements that will improve sleep, stamina, and boost your HGH resulting in a whole host of health benefits. But, these things should be used to boost your health, not maintain it. You don't need to be drinking goji berry, dragon fruit, seed weed smoothies every day. Exercise and sleep is what you're going to need to make all these things work at their best. But understand, sleep and exercise go together. The more you exercise, the more sleep and recovery time you will need. So. Once your body is cleansed and supplemented to rejuvenate the organs, this is probably the best time to focus on energetic therapies such as meditation, yoga, thought field therapy or tapping, acupuncture, massage, biosynchronization, and there are many others. These are the things you can do naturally to biohack your body. And it's simply based on exercise, diet, and your thoughts. The next level of biohacking involves using a device that is either near you, on you, or in you. Music or sound can be used to cause various reactions in the body. It can change your mood. It can reduce stress. It can even stimulate certain biological functions. 
for instance, classical music being played in the background can be used to stimulate brain activity, allowing you to retain more information that you absorb at that time. There are machines that you can use that emit frequencies that can match and break up the frequencies of diseases in your body, including cancer. Color-tinted glasses can be worn to also stimulate brain activity and alter your mood. You can improve strength and muscle performance using an EMS machine, as well as relieve pain and improve muscle recovery. A rebounder does the same thing. If you get a real rebounder and not just a mini trampoline, you can dramatically increase your strength many times over. We are talking super endurance. There are devices you can use to improve blood flow to the brain. There are portable laser technologies available that you can use to relieve pain, repair nerves and heal you. They have magnetic sleeping pads that help you to cleanse and heal while you sleep. Magnetic bracelets that can improve blood flow and relieve chronic pain. Magnetic plates that you can use to positively charge your drinking water, as well as magnetic shower heads. There are even magnetic plates that you can stand on or sit on while you meditate. Folks, the fact of the matter is, there are too many biohacking technologies out there for me to list here. On the extreme end of this, you have people known as grinders, and they will actually voluntarily experiment with cybernetic augmentation and gene manipulation on themselves, usually in small labs. There are people who have attached devices to their nervous system, their spine, they have implanted circuitry into their tissue, their ears, eyes, and brains. One of the more common practices is RFID chipping. You may have heard of this. People have even attempted to widen the range of vision of the electromagnetic spectrum so that they can see infrared. Now, I don't recommend any cybernetic augmentation, but if you lose an arm or the ability to walk, this may be something to consider. Thinking back on the movie Split, where man unwittingly used the power of belief as a form of biohacking, there is another movie called Get Out which demonstrates the power of hypnosis, another method of biohacking. With that said, I believe that the most powerful method of biohacking is by using your brain to not only change your physiology and heal yourself, strengthen yourself, but to affect physical matter and other people.